Hello everybody. I'm here to do a card reading for the week beginning Monday, September 28th. I hope everybody enjoyed the full moon, super moon, lunar eclipse yesterday. Um, the energy has been pretty intense and it has been for me and the people I'm following on Facebook are talking about that. Uh, the moon is in Aries again today and moves into Taurus tomorrow, which is Tuesday, the 29th of September. So I'd like to do a little something different today, and I'm just going to do a beginning of the week reading. So um, I'm going to read for Monday and Tuesday, then I'll be back in the middle of the week for another reading. Uh, so let's see how this goes. I'm using the Animal Wisdom Tarot cards again, and I'd like to pick a card that represents the energies for Monday the 28th, and a card for Tuesday the 29th of September 2015. Okie doke. Um, well, that's a beautiful card. And so we've got the lynx, which is the nine of branches. And we've got the monkey, which is the two of fossils. And the nine of branches is the nine of wands. And wands represent creativity and fire and creative fire, passionate energy. Um, also represents the fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. And for Monday, the moon is still in Aries, which is a fire sign. And the lynx is crouching down and he's sort of in front of these branches. And the nine of branches, or in the regular tarot, the nine of wands, represents coming to a point where you're almost to the end of something you've been fighting for and you're pretty victorious but you're still like you're out of the woods but you're still a bit on guard and going into tuesday the two of fossils uh the monkey two of fossils would be the two of coins in the tarot and coins represent the earth signs they represent Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Um, and so the moon is going into Taurus. And moon in Taurus is very um, calming. Uh, and you settle a bit more into a relaxation mode where you're just not as active as you were during the Aries moon. Um, it seems as though there's some reflection on like what just happened. Um, it's been pretty action packed and we're still in Mercury retrograde. And like I've been saying, things slow down while we're in Mercury retrograde. But we've had um, the eclipse and the full moon and things going on and coming to light and maybe rocking our world or putting us a bit on edge. So it seems like the main message is to let your guard down a little bit and relax. And 
he's also the monkey is like balancing the two in the right and left hand and some say that the two of pentacles is about juggling our financial resources but i'm sort of reading this especially because the sun is in libra it's about balance and so take a little break from the intensity that we've just gone through and nurture yourself a bit uh, stay home a bit um, find your equilibrium again and balance yourself um, grounding is coming to my mind again he's sitting you know on a rock by the water in the grass he's very much in nature and even that lynx is like right down crouched down close to the ground so um, spend some quiet time in meditation on Tuesday if you can and breathe and balance and ground yourself and maybe even go out in nature to do that. Um, I've also been feeling uh, that since it's been so intense, there's been a lot of things coming up, especially with the eclipses um, that require some uh, healing. And I have a beautiful deck of cards that are oracle cards called Healing with Healing with the Angels. That's a Doreen Virtue Angel card deck. So as the final parting um, message, as far as you know, coming through this intense time and having some respite on Tuesday and some quiet time for some solitude and balancing ourselves out. What uh, oracle card from the healing with the angels? Angels, show us a card that will help us connect to the new energy coming in that's a bit calmer than this really intense energy we've been having. So show us a card that can help everybody connect to the changing energy And I'm also getting that can connect you to like moving into the energy of being in Libra because we just went from Virgo into Libra and then all this really intense activity. I want to say crazy, but it's not crazy. It's not crazy as insane. It's intense, but we're okay and it's totally necessary. But um, let's settle in a bit to the peaceful energy of Taurus and Libra who are both ruled by Venus. So um, angels, give us a card. Okay, so that's really beautiful. And that one says forgiveness. I think it's one of my favorite cards in this deck. And um, she's looking a bit sheepish. <laughs> Um, and I feel that when people need to forgive, it's like an act of sheepish, sheepishness, like humbling, and I've got to eat crow. But it does humble you, but it's nothing to be ashamed of. And there's a lot of green in this card, which is to connect us with our heart chakra, which Venus rules Taurus and Libra. And the color of heart chakra is green. The color of grass is green. The color of nature is green. The color of healing is green. Archangel Raphael, the healing angel, works with a beautiful emerald green and a golden healing light. So um, in meditation, ask for forgiveness for yourself and for others. And um, also pray for forgiveness for yourself and others and see what comes to light and see what comes to you and um, I'm getting the message to write in a journal. So write some things down in a journal around forgiveness, however that works for you. And I'll be back towards the middle of the week to finish the rest of the week or maybe even to just do a midweek reading. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of winging it and experimenting right now. So I really welcome your feedback and um, please feel free to email me at rasincula at gmail.com or leave your comments on YouTube or on Facebook. Um, thanks so much. Have a 
great beginning to your week and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.